my fellow people of Southern Cameroon's Ambazonia. I come before you this fifth day of the month of July in the year of our Lord 2018 once more to talk about the state of our revolution. Today, I want to lay emphasis on something that has become so recurrent in this revolution. But unfortunately, a lot of our people have decided not to really pay heed to it and to take note that the recurrence of that ill is definitely not by error. And that each time that we concentrated that each time that we are dealing the enemy a solid blow, those things rear their ugly heads. What am I talking about here? I'm talking about the constant slander and sabotage that we have gotten used to right now. You see, at this specific point in time, La Republic du Cameroon and all the agents who are against us have realized that they are losing and losing massively. Some people will say, but is it the same conflict? Is it the same war that we are seeing and talking about or that we are experiencing that John Bakur is talking about and talking in terms of winning or is something else? There are a lot, lot, lot of things that surround a crisis like this one and that people may easily lose sight of. And I want to make it very known to everyone that in a situation like this one, in a struggle like the one that we are experiencing for almost two years today, it is at the level of the fine details that victory is scooped. It is not a conventional war. So don't expect a moment when the other one will stand and say, okay, clearly I have lost and I'm running away. That defeat will simply be observed, will simply take note of it, and will simply all be able to say this battle is over because chicken would have come home to roost. My dear brothers and sisters, I got up this morning to see a very lousy message circulating everywhere on social media. That message is not only an indictment of Komori Cho Ayaba, is not also just only an indictment of a lot of other people involved in this struggle. There are a lot of messages out there attacking one group or the other, one person or the other. I've also seen messages attacking even myself. Like I've learned that right now, people have, have it in their minds that uh, the consortium which I have the honor to lead right now as president of the caretaker executive. I see some caretaker executive so that we know that there is nothing like definite because the leaders of our structure are temporarily unavailable and they will eventually emerge and continue leading us just the way they have always done for us to continue to secure the victories that we have secured right up to this point. So all the talk of the consortium being resurrected by the Republic of Cameroon with plans to use it to cause confusion, they are simply unfounded talks. Some talks even go around that the consortium had transformed into Skakuv, it morphed into the governing council and eventually morphed into the interim government. Even all those talks are unfounded. The consortium is just one of seven organizations that came together to found Skakuv. And that is why it was called Skakuv, the Southern Cameroons and Bazunia Consortium United Front. So from that acronym, you realize that the consortium is just one of the organizations that made up SCACOV. So all the talks are simply unfounded because none of these seven organizations did collapse. None of them ever shut their doors. They kept working. Perhaps what you want to know more is what role we have been playing ever since and what role we intend to continue playing. That will be talk for yet another day. Away from that, the discussions that, okay, SCBC is shut down because they brought on board Comrade Akwanga is yet another little piece of poison that is simply meant to mire our struggle. There certainly are problems that have to be resolved within the SCBC, that's between the SCBC and the interim government with our comrades in South Africa. 
And I think that is something that is going to be handled backdoor. And everything would definitely be done to ensure that the SCBC, which at inception was actually meant to serve all Southern Cameroonians without distinction, without determining whether you belong to, to one group or the other. It was meant for all Southern Cameroonians because, by the way, it was created with money contributed by all Southern Cameroonians. I think that too is going to be resolved. No one should go away with the impression that it is like Republic of Cameroon that has shut down SCBC. And no one should go away with the impression that it is because, uh, you know, one group or the other wants to go away with a structure that is shut down. There are internal problems that are carefully being handled. And those problems, I trust, will be handled in such a way that when the structure, you know, bojons back, is going to serve the needs of this revolution much better. That is actually my hope. And I know it is the hope of a lot of people who are involved in this revolution. And then finally, the attack on Comrade Cho Ayaba, who talks of La République du Cameroon through Atanga Paul G, giving him hundreds of millions in CFA and promising billions more if he succeeded in destroying the struggle and eventually he will get appointed ambassador. Oh my goodness. I think we have grown past all of these things. If anybody has eyes to see, you understand that Mr. Tanga Ponji himself should actually be behind these talks. And anybody who reads that text very well, you see that it even airs because somewhere along the line they say in that text that Tanga Ponji and Komere Cho Ayaba are all from Mankon. Oh wow. I think it's good time enough somebody checks out. And you may find out very clearly that Atanga Ponji is not even from Mankon, let alone Komere Cho Ayaba. So does that indicate to us very clearly that there is something that is actually cooking that whoever wrote that text wrote it with an evil mind and any evil design will never ever be perfect. So what am I trying to say here? I'm trying to say here that all those talks are because La Republic wants us to go back now into fighting to go back now into destroying ourselves on the front lines while the evil that French President Macron went to build in Nigeria with President Buhari should, you know, bear fruit. So that the French mercenaries that are all over Southern Cameroons fighting our people should succeed in their mission. I want to point out here that if La Republic does not know it was far, far, far gone beyond that level. I think we are all very intelligent now. I think we all now know exactly that most of those bad stories are cooked right from the pit of hell in the Tudi and other places in Yaoundé, just meant to pollute the atmosphere among us. And again, one very important thing that the author of that dirty write-up intends to achieve is to fight the prospects of unity and synergy because they've learned that we have determined that we are going to have a sitting that we are going to have many sittings, conferences and all whatnot to discuss on how to speak like one person, to discuss on how to build synergy, to discuss on how to reinforce cooperation amongst the various groups to avoid all the bickerings that we hear left and right. So they say, no, we must get into action because if these people effectively stop fighting each other, if these people actually start cooperating, collaborating very seriously with each other, we are all finished because even right now, they are finished. So for that reason, they must do everything to make sure we don't have those meetings. We don't have those sittings. But shame on you. We are going to hold those meetings. We will hold those conferences. The conferences being planned are not organized by Comrade Cho Ayaba. They are not organized by the AGC. Those conferences are called by young, well-meaning and determined Southern Cameroonians who are frustrated with the disunity that is going on, who have told themselves that they must not continue to sleep while this disorder continues and they have risen to the occasion to do something and we are going to give them all the support necessary to achieve that mission blackmail or no blackmail so you evil la republic and your evil spin masters sorry you waste your time we will not fall prey to all of that i know and i want to say this and say it again very clearly La Republic du Cameroon is losing and losing big time. Why do I say so? Let me come back to something I kept saying. Again today, I went back to the treasury in La Republic du Cameroon. I met my good friend, the gentleman who takes, I mean, the pause and tells me, this is the news I bring to you. 
Find out if you doubt what I say. Call any businessman you know back in the Republic of Cameroon. Or if you have somebody in Yaoundé, let that person go to the Ministry of Finance and move through the corridors and find out. The last time that the Ministry of Finance actually did regular payments for any services that service providers rendered to the state of Cameroon was on December 20, 2017. I mean it, on December 20, 2017, that was the last time that regular programming for payment was done. Ever since then, any payment that anyone has had has been through intervention, what they call the commonly a call. If you have not proceeded through a call, you've not had any payment. And at this specific point in time that I'm talking, even a call is difficult to come by because even for a bill of 500,000, <laughs> I'm sorry, you may not have that money given to you because there is no money. And trust me, the authorities there themselves are getting very frustrated and frightened because all they are doing now is scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing to be able to pay salaries. And they are wondering that if this thing continues in the next few months, they may not be able to pay salaries. And I've said this over and over. That is why they are now gone into all forms of frenzy. That is why they are doing all sorts of things right now. That is why they have intensified. That is why the French President Macron has come up after sending his minister to Cameroon to talk to Paul Bia and then he went to Boyansol for himself, he said no. Maybe they needed to bring Nigeria on. So that's why he traveled to Nigeria. Otherwise, ask yourself, when is the last time a sitting French president paid an official visit to Nigeria? I'm not sure anybody can remember. Look back keenly. You won't see. So President Macron had to run to Buhari and say, look, you assisted us in capturing the leaders of uh, you know the people of Southern Cameroons, and we thought that that was going to decapitate the struggle, but it hasn't. We need to come back to you. That's why I've come here myself. Please, we need you to open your borders for French soldiers and mercenaries to come and pass through here and attack these people in the backyard. Is Buhari going to do that? The people of Southern Cameroons and even the people of Nigeria are watching. We know that the French have not gone as far as praying the Nigerians to build what they call a cordon around the borders of southern Cameroons and chase back inward any people who are running into their territory so that they can be destroyed in case they start facing the fire. Will Nigeria do that? We are watching. What am I saying this? It is because there are moments that certain things come up and people think it's just that easy to have them executed. It is also very complicated and so mr macron's move will not frighten any southern cameroonian it wouldn't we know the french tried those things in rwanda and they failed woefully yes we know so let us not bother ourselves we have to continue putting the steam on the republic of cameroon has turned to france for money because all the foreign reserves of that country are lost in the french treasury but the french can only give back to your own the earth at most 15 percent and once cameroon goes across the 15 percent oh no the french will say anything you want to take from the remaining 85 percent of your money you have to take it as a loan and it has to be a current interest rate oh wow those are the things we are running away from these are the things we will never ever be part of anymore so la republic du cameroon is actually on tenter hooks la republic du cameroon is a crossroads they are totally confused and the only way they think they will be able to overcome us is to set confusion among us it will not work do not pay heed we have to maintain the heat we have to keep pressuring yawunde we have to keep pressing them we have to make it impossible for them to continue to cut away our wealth and use it to fight us lest i forget those who are contributing money and they tell you that it is money that they are contributing to use to help Southern Cameroonians or Anglophones, as they call it, who are in trouble, who are in bushes, who have escaped. That money is actually meant for them to use in hiring mercenaries to fight us because they don't have money again. And the only way they could get Cameroonians to contribute after they had deceived them is something in 1995 called coup d'etat for the World Cup in 1994. And the money disappeared in thin air. They knew it would not be easy to mobilize people to contribute that money. That's why they are taxing even university students to contribute that 12.7 billion. That tells you exactly they don't have money. They need money to buy ammunition. Any person who is contributing to that list, 
If you see anybody's name contributing to that list, beginning from the Alhaji Baba Dan Polos who are giving 50 million, all those who are giving 10 million, 3 million, 5 million, whatsoever, they are contributing money to be used in buying weapons to fight us. They are not contributing money to help us. Those are our enemies. They pretend that they are our friends. They are not. They are our enemies. Country people, talk money and hear this palaver, fine, fine. Any person who I see a name for that list, where they, they contribute money, then they claim say that money they, they contribute and for taking help we when I know say our enemies. Now because the Republic Treasury don't empty all, 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 all money don't finish a quarter, quarter. So for that reason, they need now say many people they contribute money, may they take a use and buy bullets, buy guns and buy grenade them, hire white man them from France, may they come for come fight we. So any person we see a name there for that list, they don't contribute 50 million, 10 million, 3 million, 5 million, 2 million, whatsoever. Now, enemies and that, they, they contribute that money that say me they take and buy weapons, can't kill we. If that be so, if they will contribute the money to our true truth for help we, therefore they contribute the money and then at the same time they still burn houses like they burn out for come. I like more see I'm fine. See, they burn even Professor Kree house. The case for no say this same professor crew will be advised to say making no go up will take any responsibility for that constitutional council. The case for no say this so this man be go against the people they be in our ally, the past bond plus the house. Because all we take away any of we where they accept for what would that system be good for, not just for say may they use we for take and destroy we. And once it shows say that instant they get for destroy even you for meet their objectives, they know the care. So make we shine eye. Any talks that they send out there, say, oh, Chua Yaba don't collect money, or they don't plan for give two billion, or Tang and Jigo give money, or they on a lie lie talk. All talk that yes, say, oh, they don't plan, they won't go whole conference, and during that conference, they will kidnap, or they will kill people, them, or they will capture them, na lie lie talk. Now, because the Republic the fear, say, once that talk with one mob, we will destroy them. But I want to assure all man, we will talk with one mob, we will go overcome. And we'll go win. Money don't finish for the treasury. Wait no day. I they talk this so when I look me from my eyes. Any man with the doubt which I talk, go here on the go minister of finance. Go find out the last time when they pay bills are so regular. Now on the 20th of December 2017. Right now, so all the budget for 2018, the bills they do and the business away some strong head where they still go take and do with government. Come, they never pay them. And they don't get money for pay them. So country people, may we put Power for this struggle. May we hold them tight. We hold them strong because small tail will go reach. All that noise with France in Mecca, Macron, Gomito, Buer, other kind of them, they do waste time. God don't say time for go, don't reach. I'll go, go. God, they would win.